What's up everyone? So today we're doing a quick install. I got the steering links from RC Addiction 19 on Instagram. I'll put a link to his Instagram in the description below if you'd like to pick some of these up. He is now making a steering link set for the FCX24 here and I'm just going to quickly install it so you know how it goes. So yeah, first easiest way to take this body off is to pop the two rears and then grab from the side of the chassis and push. Same here, push that little clip out and it'll pop right off. In case you're wondering, this is the plug that the lights are in. So we wanna unplug that so that the body comes free. And then installation is super easy. You just wanna unscrew this uh, double ball stud here. Let's see if I can do this without the top, nope. So we undo this. First, before I do this actually, let me show you what this stock link does. For anyone who doesn't have an FCX24, this is literally a wet noodle. Watch this. <laughs> that link is not very good. Even the stock servo will overpower it and you'll be up on something and one tire is stuck like this. So yeah, definitely a worthwhile upgrade on these. So we'll take the uh, double ball stud off here. Simple as that. And I'm not even going to bother taking these other ones off. They'll just pop off like this. Just kind of twist. And get it with your nail and it should pop right off there. Just like that. Then... Pop the new link on. If I can get a hold of it here. There it goes. Now these are pretty stiff, but they probably need to break in as well. And then you can screw in the new ball stud. Unfortunately, the ball stud is the wrong color. I'll probably swap it out with the stock one. But for video purposes, we're done here. Now, the reason I didn't take the servo arm off is because I put a tiny dab of super glue in there. Because it does sometimes slip on the uh, servo horn. But, you know, it is what it is. Now let's plug it in and make sure it's got the power to work. Sorry for the links. jump cut. I had to go get my transmitter real quick. Oh yeah, it's got the power. So yeah, much better. As you can see, this one doesn't bend when you try to steer and this tire over here is caught. So yeah, that's it for the link upgrade. Next video, I'm going to get up on the hill. It's just been really hot here lately, so I haven't wanted to really hike up it, especially with riding my bike everywhere since the uh, van. I'm pretty sure it threw a piston rod. So, yeah, I'll talk to you all in the next one. As always, be sure to like the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you haven't yet. That helps me out a ton, as well as sharing the video. That helps out immensely. And be sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified of whenever I post. I'll talk to you all in the next one. TTFN.